Hey guys, Mike from Mike and Biking back with another video this week. And today we're going to be looking at trying to straighten out a dent that I put in my new rim the other day. I don't know if it's going to work out well, but I'm going to do my best. I'm going to try to save this rim since it's brand new and uh, see how this goes. So the first thing we're going to need to do is let the air out of the tire and remove that. down let's break the speed so we try to put the inside of the tire to the inner bit of the rim get a little bit more space so uh, it comes off easily all right now that that's out of the way I'm just gonna clean up the rim my excess sealant on here. There's the dent right there. You can see it's a pretty good one, but it's not the most terrible dent in the world. So to try to remove this dent, I've got some adjustable spanners here. I've got a small one and a big one, see which size works better. Maybe the small one, since it's such a small dent. And a flat piece of metal. I've got a file here. It's the flattest piece of metal I have. To try to protect the rim, I'm just gonna wrap it with a paper towel. So I'll do my best not to scratch my rim up. So I'm just gonna wrap this paper towel around. Put that on the outside of the rim flat. And take this. I'm just going to try to get it tight on there and then pry it out. I don't want to scratch the inside either. Just gonna try to tighten that down and then pry it. Let's try the bigger one been the best of luck. Yeah, it's doing a little bit better. They do make a specialty tool for this, but I don't have it. Let's see if I can make do with just this with an adjustable wrench. <laughs> so we're out so far.
And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver and a hammer and just see if I can flatten that kink out a little bit more. I decided to grab a pair of vice grips to get a little bit more leverage on the rim. I don't have to worry about any bead holder because this wheel doesn't have any. So I'm just concentrating on getting it straight as I can. And that worked pretty well. It's not perfect. So um, the outside of the rim here is a little bit of a bow in the dent. I'm just gonna give it a few hits with a dead weight hammer. See if I can't try to straighten it a bit. It actually worked pretty well, I think. See, there's a tiny bit of a indent here, but I don't think it's going to cause any trouble. It's a lot better than it was before. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount the tire back up. So before mounting the tire back up, it would be good to go through and true the wheel. As you can see, this isn't quite straight anymore. Trying to do this as carefully as possible because it's filled with sealant and I don't want to spill any. A little bit more in. Good. Just to top it off. And let's get this all the way in. I find the best way to get this to beat up is use my little air compressor. I don't have a Presta valve on there, but on the, if I have the valve core out, I can just get in there enough. A little tricky, but I can get enough air blown in there to get it to The magic number. Let's pour back in. And then I can fill the rest of it with a regular floor pump. This valve has a problem. I think it's gumped up. Ceiling gets all around. Let's see how our hack job did today. You can still see it, but it's barely barely noticeable, and it's a lot straighter than it was before. And hopefully, if anything, it'll get us a little bit more life out of the rim. 
than had we kept it the same, so better than nothing. Not perfect, though. 